as I said months ago, I'm promising you in the new apartment we can have really, really good cooking streams with good quality. I got the best internet possible. I got Wi-Fi repeaters. I tried everything I can. And today, we're making the carbonara. Very easy to do, very good to impress a possible girl coming over or boy, whatever you're into. Even impress your own parents or impress yourself with. Ladies and gentlemen, carbonara is what we're doing today. Let's go first over the ingredients. What will you need? First of all, we need obviously the pasta. Um, mostly in carbonara, you want a long, thin pasta. Well, we are using linguine, which is not very thin. So. Oh yeah, it's very thick. We need some good cheese, very good cheese. And the Italian guy at the Italian store told me what I need is pecorino romano. Here we have, it's almost nothing, it's way too small, but this cost me a fortune, man. Originale Italiano Guanciale. We have an Italian store here around the corner. Look at that. That is some good stuff. Oh, we need eggs. Obviously organic eggs, because we are uh, white village people. Salt um, and pepper. Pepper, yeah. Salt. Pepper. Not really, because you have like the salty guanciale, the salty ah. cheese. So, we're starting, I would guess, Lisa, with frying the guanciale. Cutting it first. Off. Yeah. So we're heating already the water to make it the pasta. You don't do your guanciale or whatever meat you use too small because it will shrink inside the frying pan. It's going to lose all its liquids from the frying process. So we got really, oh, it's so fat. Can I eat that raw? No? You shouldn't eat this raw? Okay. And here we got beautiful cut guanciale. Now, I would think I put some oil in the frying pan. Is that correct? Um, I wouldn't use any oil because you have so much fat and when you put it on a low heat that it renders that the ah, get like it kind of lays in its own fat, yeah, like a non -sop. Okay, and now we add the guanciale. No, wait for it. Too. Oh, we wait. Oh, nice kitchen. We have a great kitchen, man. I mean, that's where the sub money goes. So we take a bowl, a bowl, a bowl, and now we do the mixture of the carbonara. And the mixture recipe goes as follows: one egg per portion, so like two eggs for us, maybe two to three because we Let's eat, do three we eat three. a lot. We're going with three. Organic eggs. Let's put them in here. I'm very good at opening eggs. Look at that, nice and clean. Like I said, I bought this really expensive cheat, Pecorino Romano, from the Italian store. Let's open that bad boy up. Pecorino Romano, we grind that shit. That's why going to a restaurant is so much fun. You. Somebody does this for you. Yeah, Tommy came to bed at, at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's their fault. They made me play house right. Mm -hmm. There's a guy called Benz, and he's really mad that I'm better than him, so, you know. So we have the free eggs, and we take the cheese. Take a look at this. That's it, I thought there was more involved. It's just free eggs and, and the cheese. Well, if you use any kind of cream or something, the Italians will kill you, rightfully so. Yeah, oh, that's, that's okay. My physiotherapist told me, I'm 31 years old now, you're gonna get there too. If you always use your right arm for everything, you're gonna fuck up your shoulders over the years. My, 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 my physiotherapist said you should sometimes do the left. I'm really, I'm like a retard with it. Look at that, but you have to use your left arm sometimes, if you know what I mean, Chad, okay? The next step is... Maybe a bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. But look how professional the stream is now. Can you see how professional the stream is now? So here comes this very expensive fucking guanciana. Sorry? You could have waited until the pan was hot. Oh, you have to wait until the pan is hot. I mean, she didn't tell me, it's her fault. And I told you the first time, and now we turned the hop off, so now we should have waited a bit. Look what women's rights are doing to us. Tommy's never listening. What? Today is Women's Day? Oh no. Really? Now, a question that I have as an amateur Lisa is, at what point does a young man that is frying one child know it's done? At what point do you know you're good? That depends on what you want from the one child. Do you want it too crispy or more soft? Well, now we want the fat to render. So um. we don't put it on a high heat, so it gets like super crispy. We're on six out of nine here. And doesn't release the fat. We use like a medium heat so that the fat renders and goes into the pan. Okay, don't forget to salt your uh, pasta water. Very, very importante. I never know how much salt. I never know. It's really hard. Lisa always says your pasta water has to taste like ocean water. That's what it needs to be. It's important that all the pasta is fully submerged in water. That's important. Otherwise, they have different cooking times, right? The fat is leaving the meat. You do not need to use oil or butter for this. I would have used oil because I'm so unexperienced with this. So far, I think this is very basic. This is not very hard. Always clean after yourself. Always clean your shit. When we were in Italy a year ago, one thing I didn't like in Italy, personally, I'm sorry, is that they make the pasta 
too hard. They take it out too early. It's called al dente or something. The pasta is a bit too hard, a bit chewy. And Germ often the case but often, you will never see that in Germany. And we in Germany, and I personally, I'm a big fan of of done pasta. Pasta has has to be done. Don't take it out too early, man. It's weird. Don't take it out too late, though, either. Oh shit! Look, ow, ow, ah, shit! It hit me. This shit gets more views than Counter Strike, man. Just check the pasta. It feels good. I often think you can already feel if the pasta is done if you just do this. There's not a lot of resistance. It feels very uh, soft. Here, I got one, I got one. Oh my god. I... Please explain again to the people why we do this. Because you need some of the pasta water. It brings liquid into the whole process and saltiness. The saltiness of the pasta water is being added here. Very nice. And you want to kill the heat on the pan before you put the eggs in, so quite a while before. Because otherwise your eggs will scramble. Super important what Lisa just said. The heat of the frying pan has to go lower, otherwise the eggs go fucked. Okay, so here we go, Chad. Uh, I need to stir or something. Uh huh. Okay, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. So I have this weird feeling that it's not enough sauce, Chad. So what Lisa is doing now, she takes the salty pasta water and she makes it all a bit more liquid. Mix. Now we have a taste. Okay. The feeling. See if anything's missing, and I would. Always add some uh, pepper at the end. Yeah, I have And yeah. some fresh cheese. Oh, more fresh cheese. A little bit more pepper. And after all, Chad, it looked, that was pretty easy, right? If, even I can do this. As you, you can, can do see, this, it's uh, still a bit saucy. There is some look at sauce, this, look here. but it's not like too liquidy. Yeah, too liquidy, that's wrong, I would guess. And we have finished a beautiful well done, high quality carbonara. Chad, you're gonna eat with us like a family. We're gonna be your family today. Do you guys have that in your country? A butter thingy? Or is that East German shit? First taste, Lisa. Ooh, that's a big taste. What is she gonna say? It's good? Okay, here we go. Ooh, that is really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Tell me as a kid. Oh, why not now? Eight months. Anyway, Chad, this is how you make carbonara. Very basic, easy. This was actually, we even went like high level. We, Lisa showed us how to do it correctly. We use very good ingredients, but man, this is easy, right? We have a question from a Muslim viewer who says, what alternative uh, other than pork could I use for this carbonara? It's hard. Just uh, get another religion. I have a question. If someone wants to lose weight and wants to eat healthy and stuff. Don't eat carbonara. Okay, okay. Not fat, right? So people have been asking, when is Lisa going to use her food Instagram again? Oh. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, Chad, that uh, Lisa was very busy since she birthed a child eight months ago. But I think we're soon planning that Lisa is going to be a bit more active in the food scene. She might make a YouTube channel. Not live stream. She hates live stream, which makes sense. You have streaming is very different than video on demand, but... It doesn't make sense with cooking. When yeah. I'm making something that requires some time in the oven. What are you going to do in an yeah. hour? Lisa just shit on all the cooking streamers. And Lisa is gonna work on Instagram again and on YouTube and make a nice little cooking channel. Be prepared for that. She's gonna get more subs than me. Yo, Lisa, this shit has more viewers than some stuff I actually do. Like, um... Honest fact. Yeah, <laughs> or hell that loose. Do you think you're able to make dinner for less than 10 euros? That would be a funny challenge. Yeah, of course. I mean, look, the pasta is, what, one euro? The eggs are cheap. You get some bacon strips for one euro, two euros. You can make this with... Five euros? Easy, yeah. If you remake anything we ever did on cooking streams, like carbonara or tomato sauce, I would love to see a picture. I'm dead serious. Yeah, please send us pictures. Now imagine your girl comes home, subscribers, right? Your girlfriend comes home, your boyfriend, whatever, and you make that for them. You make this for them. Right. Another sub will deliver. We're gonna do the bathtub stream soon, right, Lisa? I'm gonna be in a bathtub. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna we have a big bathtub. Oh, looks, oh, I'm fat. You look like muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can really quick do something. Do you guys want to talk shit? Wait, I can't show the apartment. Look at this shit, huh? Do you want to call me fat? You want to call me fat, you fuckers? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I show you. You see that? Ain't nobody. 